All right, for our audience at home, introduce yourselves and tell us a little bit about your documentary. Thank Hello, you. everyone. Uh, my name is Nino Memanishvili. I'm the director of the film I Have No Wings. Um, we, uh, we, I, I want to say uh, about my film, first of all, that I know how other directors, but I love my film very much. <laughs> yeah, and I love my character very much. I hope that other, I, I hope that people also uh, 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 like the film and love the uh, main character because I think that the main thing in our film is the strong and interesting character. Yeah, Katie, <laughs> help me. <laughs> oh, I'm Katerina Nozadze. I'm helper of Nino and the producer of film. I have no wings. Um, what can I say? <laughs> yes. It's awesome. a How wonderful. Did you... Oh, go on. It's a wonderful documentary about Falcony Boy, and we see him in a very um, un uh, unusual situation, even for us Georgians uh, who live uh, here for years. Uh, I didn't see such a picture, uh, such um, strange uh, atmosphere where people can live and uh, where people can dream. Awesome. Where did you find your subject? I mean, I instantly fell in love with him. I mean, you guys did such a great job of bringing his story and who he is as a person. He seems like he's a very warm person. Where did you find him and how did you approach him to do this documentary? Um. Uh, uh, I, uh, I have the job. I work in the one of the um, uh, online television vision and I had uh, like an editor and I, um, it was um, I don't know seven or eight years ago that I had the some material for a edit and uh, I saw him in this material he it, it was a small boy I don't remember exactly how old he was but he was a teenager and he has this uh, bird uh, his falcon on his hand and when I saw him I liked him very much and I was very interested with him and I'm starting to looking uh, for him so that's okay <laughs> yeah and uh, then when we met I didn't know a lot um, of him. Once what I knew, it was that uh, this guy uh, dreaming about uh, to be a falconer and it, it is his tradition, it is his family tradition. And he had, he, his life uh, is a uh, um, very hard life, but I don't want to show he, this part a lot uh, in the movie. Uh, what I like in uh, my character is that um, uh, in some of the uh, things he reminds me myself. Uh, why? Uh, I think that uh, all, uh, our life uh, is depends on us. A lot, maybe not everything, of course, but a lot of it depends on us how uh, our life will develop. Yeah, and but uh, not everyone knows uh, what they want from life, and they are going in the way which life gives them. Uh, for example, I always knew what I wanted. I was only seven years old when I told my parents that I want to be a director, and after that, I never changed my mind. And I'm happy that today I can reach my goal. And uh, Maho is the person who knew exactly what he want. He want to be a falconer. He has a really hard life. You see in his uh, in this movie uh, that he um, uh, he has a lot of problems. Yeah, but. He has. He is a person who has. He who his. He has his interests. He has his in intentions. Attentions. <laughs> Interest. Inter uh, okay. Interests. Interests. Interest. Yeah. And uh, I think that uh, in this film, uh, people can see uh, a good example how you. Uh, 
have to believe in yourself and never give up. Um, yeah, it was my main thing in this film. <laughs> and I try to, I try, you know what? I tried the, to make a positive film. I felt it was very positive. I felt it was very uplifting. You know, I, I really enjoyed it. And I was rooting for him. I mean, I felt like I was sitting in my seat rooting for the guy. And uh, it just is so inspirational. Um, tell us a little bit about where he lives in Georgia. What, what is the city or town like? You know, what is life like in that part of the country? Yeah, can Katie can talk or? Absolutely. Yes, it's uh, uh, not far from Tbilisi, capital of Georgia. It's a Marneoli district. Uh, Marneoli. Uh, and uh, um, yeah, uh, a very strange uh, uh, that. Um, Yes, the, um, it's a uh, it's a big uh, um, difference between uh, the police uh, capital and this part of uh, Georgia. Yeah, you mean when uh, when he goes with his bird to the capital, uh, and we show it in a film that uh, uh, he is trying to reach uh, get some money with this bird. I think th this is not his own choice. I I, I think the life bring him this. Uh, uh, opportunity and of course it's shown very positively and uh, uh, so on but uh, I think uh, in uh, uh, he he knows his profession he knows it very well but he have no possibility to do it uh, as you uh, as you see um, they remove his bird and uh, um, uh, it's a strange uh, uh, situation he is in and I like that Nino followed all this situation in very real uh, and not changing anything not changing I like it I like the visual very much and I like this visual of this boy he is very strong and he never give up of course <laughs> awesome uh, Nino, uh, this question's for both of you. Nino, answer first. What did you learn about yourself personally and professionally while making this documentary? Um, um, personally, I really uh, de develop, develop because I, uh, I got stronger, I think. It was really difficult to communicate with real people in the real life and to it was it, it is a first documentary for me and I think it's a big difference with the documentary and fiction fiction it's I think it's more easy because you make feel make the film you make a story and you know what you want to do in the documentary you have to communicate with person who has his life and uh, uh, Maho is very talkative person but he is not easygoing he all he uh, tried to uh, in the beginning he tried to hide his uh, uh, personal personality yeah and tried to be um, mm, um not real maybe yeah. can't find uh, the word uh, artificial artificial yeah artificial but uh we work uh, for this movie for four years and what i uh, find strong in myself i could communicate with him very easy and i he trust me and I trust him and he did not play. And I am very satisfied with myself like a director that I could, could do this. And um, film is absolutely rea reality. He, he is not playing anymore. Uh, and he's, he so trust me that uh, he said a lot of things 
what uh, was very personal. And of course, me and Katie, we decided not to show these parts in the film because I think that uh, pe when person trusts you, but you don't uh, need to show everything. And I think that I like a director uh, with the, uh, this communication. Uh, I am a, um, a strong person <laughs> and I can communicate in uh, other persons easily. Uh, yeah, but uh, and uh, what about uh, a story? And um, it was a little bit hard because maybe it was it was first film and we don't have a script. It was my, my decision again. Uh, I did not want to write a script. I want to uh, be next to the hero uh, and uh, see what's happened in his real life. Uh, work like this are very interesting, but it needs more time. Maybe some people um, finish the film uh, in one year, we uh, we uh, work for four years because mm -hmm. we're waiting what happens. Um, I really uh, learn a lot of things, uh, but I think that I, anyway, I don't change my uh, position and the next film uh, will, now we work on the second film and um, I don't change my position and we work in the same style in the real life without script and observe what's what happens i hope i answered the question you did um Katevan, what did you learn about yourself professionally and personally while making this film uh while making this film i uh, meet wonderful persons nino and uh, maho uh, cameraman and uh, i understand that hard uh, uh, working is uh, giving you some success <laughs> maybe i i i understand it that it was very interesting process it was covid as you know covid situation uh very strict uh, in georgia sometimes we, we we were unable to go outside even with our cars and just uh, walk and uh, we always was with nino uh, on a zoom conversation and talked about how to start structure how to structure film and it was very interesting for me thank it's you such a wonderful film and you know i assume you guys are in georgia so it's like 12 31 in the morning so i do appreciate you guys staying up and chatting with me it was such a wonderful documentary and thank you for bringing this to the world